Blake Rebeck. I am the uh, creative director uh, at Spook House or at Hidden Pizza. And uh, I primarily work with system design and managing the team as a whole, making sure that we get something that's not trash out. <laughs> so what's your favorite video game, Blake, of all time? Uh, right now it would be uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Oh, yeah. uh, the primary reason for that is because it uh, was one of the first games I actually ended up uh, going and beating, uh, even before Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Um, and every time I come back to it, I actually enjoy it more, which is uh, which I think is the primary staple of uh, any good game. Is even the first time, uh, you know, you enjoy it and you go back the second time. So yeah, so this is much better. So what what's the biggest fun? In the beginning, uh, we tossed around like even before we started developing on a digital version. Uh, we had considered making it a. Uh, oh, this idea is so trash now. It's a uh, think Metal Gear Solid meets uh, s the current iteration of Spook House meets uh, sneaking around, trying to uh, pop up behind your guests and scare them while you're also laying out towers or attractions to uh, scare them uh, in the meantime as well. And uh, we soon figured out that that was probably not feasible, not right now. Uh, maybe go back to it later. Uh, aside from what we've actually developed, um, I'd say one of the main or biggest differences is we kind of expanded on the uh, build your path uh, idea that we had uh, very early on. We moved that into the modular room setup. So in, instead of just picking a path within a house that's pretty built for you, you can actually go and build your own house which is something we've gotten a lot of positive, or positive feedback on. People seem to really like it. Uh, I think it looks cool. Uh, it's been implemented pretty well. I, I, my question I have written on here is how much of your work is done between 1 and 7 a.m.? 1 and 7 a.m.? Uh, it's actually a lot because, uh, aside from me being awake at the time, uh, one of two things happens. Uh, obviously, this, or you go to school for like the actual part of the day that people are supposed to be awake at. And it's like, when you're doing that, uh, you just kind of feel uh, I don't know, I don't feel like I want to necessarily do anything, especially going out of class. Yeah. I do do work uh, in between classes and during that period a lot of times, depending on if my sleep schedule is <laughs> on that side or if I'm back in the nocturnal state of things. Yeah. Um, what's your, what's the, what's a feature of Spook House that you're most proud of? I mean, as for features that are currently in the game, I'd say uh, probably the one that turned the, out the best, just purely from a design perspective. Uh, was modular room setup, uh, especially since there's a lot that we can expand on with it. And it's a really uh, tight system that allows for expansion, which is something you want when you're making designs. Um, so yeah, I would say 